Round four from Harbortown. When we ended Saturday's round, we were four shots off the lead of Joel Damon, who has really thrived in the 14 to 20 mile an hour wins. And let's be honest, most of the time they're at, they've been at 20. I expected a windy tournament, and we've got one. But if we can get a little bit less win today, like a six to nine, that'd be great. And the verdict? Oh, six to nine. All right, well, that'll certainly help with our awful green and regulations after yesterday. So let's head out to Harbortown for the final round of the RBC Heritage. So here we are, Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, for the final round of the RBC Heritage. Four shots off of Joel Damon. Now, the good news is, is that nobody has surpassed us. There are two others at 17 under. However, one's three under through three. That's not a great sign. Somebody could be trying to go low. Which means we have to start quick. Otherwise, this could really, really get away from us. And by the turn, we'll be out of this thing. There's that music switch again. No idea what's up with that. Teeing off in the final group. The wind is left to right. That's just fine. I'm actually going to try and hit three wood off of this tee. It'd be weird playing with manageable winds again. Should be just right enough. I don't know. We may have a tricky second shot here. Doing good. Back to work at the... Yeah. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Back to work at the golf course now. That time of year. Oh, fuck me. Because I... I mean, so a 54 could clear that branch. Or... It might, it might be going right into it. I really don't know. Oh, it cleared it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wasn't sure. But we're inside 10 feet. And inside 10 feet here at Harbortown is very, very gettable. This isn't going to do a lot. Oh, I thought we missed it. All right, well, we will certainly take a birdie on one. That'll go a long way. We've got some ground to make up today. Joel Damon stays right where he is at 21 under par. So ourselves and one other. Three shots off the lead. Into the par five, second hole. We'll see if uh, we've got uh, a chance at this one. That pin is tucked, so we're going to want our second shot around that tree. Can't make any mistakes off the tee here, otherwise it could get uh, bad very quickly. All right. Well, I'm going to need to hit this decently accurate. Or miss right immediately. But it could be worse. This is still very birdieable. Hack shot with our next. I don't know. I may actually hit a punch. And just try and run it up there. And uh, be able to put our, our next one in, in close. Yep. That'll do. We'll have a good angle at it, I think. Chance for the spinner. But we just got to make sure that it gets decently close. There's been some rollout on shots like this here at this tournament. And come on, hold. We've got a birdie putt. 
It might not be the best one. Oh, it's in. Birdies on one and two to start Sunday. Damon does birdie, but Buckley does not, so we have sole possession of second place. When the wind isn't howling here at Harbortown, it is certainly a gettable and scorable course. Different pin locations, but I did uh, play a practice round with six to nine mile an hour winds on. And that was when I went 10 under. If we could do that today, that'd be great. Looks like all we could ask for off the tee. Trying to clutch this one up. It, uh, it's been a rough stretch for us. I haven't won a tournament since the players. I'm going to back off the 50. And hope to not overcook this. And, well, we missed left. But this has a chance. No. Just sits. So unless we can get something to fall on a chip shot here. And I'll end a run of birdies, but we were so close. All day with the chip shot and. I left it a little short. I uh, just wanted to make sure it wasn't going to blow past. Tried to land it on the fringe, and I think we actually landed it in fairway. So we par three. What does Damon do? Par three fourth. Not really sure what's going on with that green over here. What the? What's going on? It, that's a weird shadow. If it is one. Oh boy. We gotta pray. Well, it's at it. It's gotta sit. And it didn't. All right, well, I'm thinking we putt this. It's all downhill, but the fringe is going to take a decent bit of speed off it. On the way. Well, that's got a chance. Oh! Certainly would have liked it. That does not fall. And now, no gimme coming back up the hill. But it drops. Alright, well, we can't start making pars now because Damon's going to birdie something again eventually, if not right now. Par 5 fifth, 549 yards. If it's tough to say what our what our approach off the tee or our uh, our tee shot should be, just because I mean, we got lucky once this tournament and got it over that cart path. Not really certain it's worth it. And yeah, that's not going to happen today with this win. We're really not going to want to cut the corner. So I'm going to hit not a finesse. I'm going to hit the three wood. And just don't miss left. Yeah. Sacrifice a lot of distance that way, but... At least with the three wood, I can reliably drop it in. And now power approach? Man, I don't know. I don't think it's worth... Maybe a couple extra yards. I'm going to hit try and hit a low three wood and see if I can get it to roll. 
It's a little right, but it should be all right. It's not going to sit very pretty. But certainly an opportunity for us to attempt to make up ground here. This is not going to be my favorite spinner in the world. Yep. Probably should have flopped it, but flop shots haven't been very kind to us the last couple tournaments. This isn't doing a bunch. That'll drop. For birdie on five, three under here on Sunday, 20 under for the tournament. Now it's all about what Joel Damon does. Joel Damon bogeys. Well, that certainly helps. Updated ticker, I know, I finally had time. Although, you should, I don't know if you noticed yesterday, I did take the Arizona Coyotes could move to Utah off of there. Well, that helps. All right. Three wood into the wind. And don't miss right. Did not miss right. We've hit driver the last two days at the very least, probably even Thursday as well, and blew way long. Now the wind was helping those balls out. Eight iron into this wind. This could be good. This could be really good. Oh! Very nearly hopped in. But the 8-iron was the call. And depending on what Joel Damon does, we can tie for the lead here. With our fourth birdie of the front nine. We do indeed tie for the lead. A costly bogey on five for Joel Damon. Now this par three seventh is one that I have yet to get right. See if that is the case today. Gotta keep the pressure up, that's for sure. There it is. That's gotta be. That's got to be the first two-year subscription we've ever had. Which is absolutely insane. The fact that anyone has ever done that. <laughs> but thank you, Pat. Thank you very much. We're going to try and hole out here for you. Mm, no, but it's going to be pretty good. No. <laughs> No, not you this time. I don't know. It's a good question. Oh, that is such a huge approach. That drops. Third straight birdie, 22 under par. And now solo lead over Damon. We've played like ass for a month. <laughs> But we still got a long way to go. I mean, hey, that works. All right. Not much thought into this. Hit it high, let the wind knock it down. It's off to the right a little bit, but one of the wider fairways here, so we'll be just fine. Ugh. Okay, well this isn't my favorite shot in the world. Uh-oh. Well, I think... As long as this doesn't take a hop from hell, we'll be in the bunker. 
It took a hop from hell and certainly got close. Pick shot's a good one, though. When's the last time I hit a blast shot? It has been a long while. In for par on eight. It's actually a run. You're talking about how shitty that run is of four straight par fours to start the back nine. It's actually six straight. Right smack dab in the middle of the round. Not my favorite. Here at Harbor Town. Hit a dinger. Well, we tried to hit a dinger yesterday, and it actually worked. Now, today, on this par four, I don't really know what the plan is. Uh, we got the wind in our face this time. So, if I hit a regular driver, hit it high, we shouldn't even have to flirt with the bunker as long as I can hit this straight. Oh, that's better than I could have hoped for. Not a lot of room to land this ball over the bunker, but we're going to have to find a way. I can try a regular flop. This has the chance to go wrong. Well, it'll get there. Six foot birdie putt. Plan is we don't have a plan. That's not wrong. And the putt for birdie rattles home. That is a six under front side. And a one shot lead over Joel Damon who I think birdie too hasn't done anything else. Knew this was gettable if we got the right conditions, and on Sunday we finally got them. <laughs> yeah, I totally rigged 14 to 20 mile an hour wins against myself the first couple days. Naturally. Don't miss left. Miss right. That's okay. Ring the, w yeah. It's only ring uh, rigged when the uh, wind is lower. Okay, wind at our back. Pitching wedge might be a little long, but the fifty may be a little short. Where is that? Gonna need a hop. Didn't get a hop. Still a chance at a putt, though. It's not an overly tricky one. Outside of the fact that we do have to give it a good chunk of power to get it there. I may not have given it enough. <laughs> that is painful. That is painful. Let's hope Damon doesn't come back and tie us. That's really unfortunate because I think the 10th is one of the more of the gettable par fours in this run. Damon stays at 22 under. Par four at 436 yards. The 11th hole at Harbor Town. Pin is tucked in behind that tree. Oh, lordy. Okay. That's quite the par four, isn't it? T shot should be good. At least in terms of it being in short grass. Now, the problem becomes, how the fuck do I get it around this tree? I 
can go in the tree. That's fine, too. Oh, jeez! <laughs> well, the tree didn't really... It didn't do much to that. Probably would have landed about the same spot anyway, but... You might have taken enough spin off of it to make sure that it didn't come back and hole out. As a two-shot lead over Joel Damon. <laughs> Negative one points over the season. How is that possible? Yeah. All right. I think we play it safe. Three wood. I don't know when the camera got fucked. All right, we'll be safe and have a pretty good chance to put this in close. Nine iron, eh? Yeah. I'm going to have to blast this pitching wedge, otherwise it could be short. And yeah, we blasted it, but we didn't exactly get the wind right, and... Missing the green. Not very access uh, accessible pins here on Sunday. Chippable indeed. Oh, well, that's got a chance and missed again. Uh, yeah. I don't even know if it was a foot. Par on 12. What's Damon up to? Still at 22 under. Damon can... How did Damon go 11 under in 20 mile an hour wins and can't figure out 6 to 9? That is miserable. All right. Well, this drive could get a little tricky. Yeah, we might be in the long shit. <clears throat> Unless we get a good bounce here. <laughs> yep. One of them kind of days. Which we have not had in quite some time. Ugh. Alright, well, I'll bring the finesse back as much as I can. Please land on the green. Alright, well, we're putting. Not an easy putt by any means, but... Ugh. Actually, our most tricky putt of the entire day. Where was this last weekend? Wasn't possible. Oh, well, we'll miss that. Yeah, for sure. Well, greens at Harbor Town are a lot more um, receptive, <laughs> shall we say. A lot easier to land the ball here. Augusta, they're just, they're glass. Maintaining our two-shot lead over Joel Damon. This still has the potential to go wrong. Uh, we have this. Then we're going to go play Mudcats because we got to get Evo's pitcher uh, created. He's on the mound today. And then, then we go to Talladega, and then we go to uh, Tigers franchise. Tigers franchise is going to be last today. That's actually moving left. And that wind did fuck all to the five iron. 
Come out of that. Oh. We're going to punt Jesus again today? Well, there's not a Jesus car in the Cup Series, so good chance no. All right. Well, this isn't going to be very fun, is it? Oh, God. Oh, God. No. No, because we got to get to August first when we start that real-time sim. I mean, I guess it's... Wait, huh? What? What? Huh? <laughs> Man, if they didn't think it was rigged before, that's, they really think it's rigged now because we had a good opportunity to bogey there. And, uh... The game kicked us a foot out. That does kind of make up from yesterday, though. We got that stupid unplayable just off the green in the sand yesterday. So those, I take. Game giveth, game taketh. A little bit. We can never get good conditions here on uh, on this hole. We're into the wind seemingly every time. Yeah. That should work. Yep. One of the only times we've been able to clear those trees this weekend. What's up, wheelchair gamer? Okay. Well, can't hit a flop. I could mess around with trying a finesse. Probably not really worth it. I mean, I guess the spinner. The long spinner, though, so it might actually sit. Okay, well, it would have been fine had I actually hit the green. Landed it on the fringe, and it went nowhere. So not really a phenomenal birdie chance. Oh, 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 that's in. To 25 under... Eight under here on Sunday. And with three holes to play, we've got a two-shot lead over Joel Damon. Ha. <laughs> Aimbot. That's why I couldn't make a putt to save my life at Augusta. Trying to figure out what the spinner is. Just a low little shot that uh, it, if you hit it well enough, it'll check up. Ball will stop almost right where you, where you hit it gonna bounce once most uh, most often and then spins just gonna catch up and it's gonna sit for you in a perfect world oh yeah this hole well I've been hitting stinger off of this so we're gonna do that again Just don't want to mess around with any of those trees. Now, that stinger didn't really roll out that much. I think I, I think yesterday I did hit it low. Oh. I mean, it's not that bad. We got a chance to put this close, but eh. Don't miss left. Mm, we kind of missed left. Uh-oh. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you can hold out with the spinner. You can hold out with just about everything, but not exactly ideal or common. Well, that chip never had a chance. Ok. 
Kind of fluttering around here. Some big par to make. And we will indeed make it. Does Joel Damon put some pressure on us? Not really. Only, only way I see us choking this that badly is if we fucking hit something OB somewhere. Which shouldn't be possible here. Yeah, that's got some spin on it. Oh? Oh! Oh my goodness! Let's go! First one on stream, baby! Come on! No fucking way! <laughs> oh, I love the fact that that I don't have the heartbeat look, uh, heartbeat moments on. I had no idea. I thought that was going off the green. I 100% thought that was rolling off. Holy shit! <laughs> Come on! We may miss a fairway here. <laughs> oh, we're fine. Wind's gonna hold it up. Hole in one watch! <laughs> Jesus! Doesn't entirely matter what we do here now. Two in a month, I know. And I didn't, I had never hit a hole in one in this game before that one in practice for the part three contest off of stream, of course. No, I don't think we're gonna choke this away now. This putt. To win the RBC Heritage. And it'll blow past. But it will be... A par and a win for the first time since the players... Which isn't a long time in the golf world. But we played so well at the start of the year that a month-long losing streak feels insane. And a hole-in-one on 17 here on the final day... We beat Joel Damon by four shots, go 10 under. Yeah, yeah, that one looks spectacular, doesn't it? If only we could do this in tournaments that really matter, but good to get back in the win column. I think we'll win at least one major this year. Ugh. <clears throat> that hole in one really just like completely like like that's all, that's exercising the demons right there. Hadn't played very well when it mattered and then we're already playing well here on uh, on Sunday and then that happens like holy shit. I don't even know where we play next week. 